What's going on everybody? This is Corey with Corey's Computer Repair back with another video. Only this time it's not a custom gaming computer with RGB. It is a gaming computer but is provided by Dell Alienware. This is a Dell Alienware R9 and probably the worst designed computer I have ever seen. <laughs> so let's take a look at why. First, I'm going to start with the front. In the front here, there's like an inch and a half of plastic. There is an intake fan to bring air in right here. It's a 120 millimeter fan. But there's these little grates in the front, little vents, I guess you would say, that it has to struggle to pull air through. There's just, there's no need for all this plastic, but yet Dell thought it was a great idea. And why stop there? This is the power supply unit. And this is on a hinge that folds open, believe it or not. Look at this. Now that's open. And there is the CPU fan and heat sink. And then right above here, up top, is a 120 millimeter exhaust fan. And there's grates up here. So it exhausts air up. And then the CPU fan is responsible for sucking cool air in across the heat sink and cooling the processor. But the problem with that is when you close this flap in Dell's glory of a design here, the bottom of the power supply rests within half an inch of the top of the CPU fan and within about, oh man, not even a half inch. It's tight. It's like this from the top of the exhaust fan when you completely close this. So the issue is lack of airflow. So that brings me to the question I'm sure everybody's asking, why do you have this computer? Well, I have this computer because the customer was complaining that in the middle of gaming, his games crash and also he gets random reboots. I wonder why. Maybe because of thermal issues. Uh, I did run some benchmarks on the GPU. I stress tested it at 100% and this GPU was hitting 81 degrees Celsius was the temperature. Its max is 88. And even when it was at 70 to 75, the fan on this GeForce GTX 2070 was not kicking on high enough, nor were the fans blowing really well within the case. So all I'm going to say is I, I made some changes. I did them, some things to maximize this. And once that was done, now the GPU stress tested at 100% again is hitting a max of 68 degrees Celsius for about 35 minutes without issue. I could stress it longer, but that was a good amount of time to stress test the GPU. And the CPU did not hit above 51 degrees Celsius. So rock solid machine now, about as solid as you're gonna get for a Dell Alienware machine. I still don't understand why they went with this. So much plastic, so unnecessary. Just putting this right here alone, just putting this, power supply unit smack dab in the middle of the case and blocking the fans like somebody should be fired for whoever came up with that idea i mean you could even get a cooler master case that works better than this for like 50 bucks this is flat out laziness there's no other way to say it and this is of no fault to the customer at all you know if you don't know how to take the case off and to the customer's credit they told me the screw on the back here that was holding the release on was stripped and it is i don't know if the camera will focus to see that but i was able to get it out so you know you buy these and you think you're getting a quality product but you can't see what's on the inside you know uh, you have to trust that they built a quality product and unfortunately in this case that is not the case however uh, i was able to get it to be solid for the customer so they don't have to go out and purchase something else. It'll work 
for a good while now, you know. Uh, I will tell them in the future, I strongly recommend they upgrade or have me build them something better. But for now, 68 degrees Celsius, 100% GPU, stress tested for 35 minutes, I'm happy with that. And I know the customer is going to be extremely happy with that. And their gaming is going to be a lot better. There's not going to be any crashes. There's not going to be random reboots. And yeah, so I'm happy with it. Thank you guys for listening to me rant on this one, and I will see you next time.